Greetings, minions, aliens, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade Dagger playing Empyreon Galactic Survival. And this is episode 28. And creative build week, I guess you could say. <laughs> it's seeming like it's going to take a whole week just to build this damn CV helicarrier. I am not quite sure of the scale, but it's coming along fairly, fairly decently. There's some things I think it could be done better, but this is like my first CV build, so, you know, cut me some slack here, people. So off camera, I didn't really do a hell of a lot, I just put in an extra row of blocks uh, along the outer edges of the under hull as you can see and we're gonna start uh, doing the outside a little bit more so as you can see I did a little fancy corner work there and we're just gonna continue it on now when we get to this far we have to sneak under because I don't want to box this completely in I don't think uh, let's see, get out here, and there'll be a stairway down. And zip over here. And wrong, you're going this way, Bubba. Alright, duck under. There we go. Zip. So this is gonna be, whoops. That was intentional. <laughs> Alright, so we'll zip along this way. Go the whole length of the hall. Which fortunately ends there. We will come under here a level. Let's see if we can squirt through here. Now I did rotate the ship just a little bit to try to get better lighting. So you guys can see what's going on. It's it's going to be an ongoing battle, I'm sure. And... Whoop. I think I might have shot too far. There we go. Alright, so we'll probably end up reshaping these corners. In fact, I think that's probably what I will do. Or maybe try that. Looks a little better. And we'll triangle in that. Or wait a sec. Ah! Alright, so we'll put. It, let's see. How are we going to do this so it looks good? Oh, wrong. Wrong decision. Many regrets. There we go. Yeah, I did this wrong. Okay. No problem. Trying to remember how I did that other corner. Alright, so. Whoops, rotate there. But ink. Like that. And that. And block that in. So let's see, it's looking almost decent. Okay, so again, this area here will be the hangar deck area. Alright, so there'll probably be room for maybe three 
possibly four of my CV or SVs, maybe. And then ahead, up in this area here, I'm thinking I'll put. Let's see, can I put? Whoops, this ah, wrong buttons. Can I put in the growing plot? I can't remember exactly what it's called. And with my luck, I'm probably skipping all over it, so let's see. Let's try grow. Yep. And that is able to be put on a CV. So excellent. So what we'll do is eh, crane your neck, crackle, crackle, pop. We'll put in like grow lights and put in enough to do like one garden of each type of plant, maybe. And that'll be under the the flight deck and then you get the hangar deck back here and then a deck below that will have like we'll, we'll like triple up the the uh, hull blocks so it's extra protected and then just line the walls with power cells all the way from fore to aft and then uh, we'll line the walls with it and then down the center line we'll put like generator and uh, RCS probably have to put in like generator, 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 or generator, C RCS, generator, RCS, kind of alternate back and forth, maybe. And then in the very center of the ship, uh, gravity well generator. But now we just need to fixate on getting the hull in. Um, we can. Can we take these out? Yeah. That's not going to compromise hull integrity at all. Alright. So the hull deck, or the uh, flight deck, will be three blocks. We'll replicate the above blocks. And we're going to run out of blocks here. Almost. Actually, might as well just restock. Twitchy little blocks, go where I want you to go. Alright, we'll have to do something about the front up here. Yeah, we'll have to do some shaping up here, but that's the nice thing about creative mode is you can add to, delete as you need, and then when you do the actual build, when you finish this build, um, it should all be good. So let's cinch these in. Uh, probably have to do this. Yep. Gotta do it like that, I suppose. That ain't gonna do it either. So how am I gonna do this? Eh, get in the block area. Yeah, that's a bit more, more like it. 
remove that block. Put that in. Drop down in here. And put in that. And it looks a little bit off from what I'd like, but it kind of creates that fan tail effect. Actually, now we got to put triangles in first. Okay. Whoops, don't get too carried away there with flight dynamics here. Hold still, you. There we go. Alright. So let's see, we getting a general shape here. Yeah, it's coming along. Now the front is going to be more sharply angled once we get past the, the triple layer hanger area. It'll start forming the, the V shape, except in the front I'm also going to do some something similar at least to what it looked like in the Avengers movie with the glass wishbone enclosure in the front. So in here we'll be able to have like this big old windowed area where we can look out like an observation window. It should look sweet if I can get it to look right. It's a challenge, I tell you that much just to keep the uh, the overall aesthetic working. Uh, let's see, we can drop these up in there. Alright, so th we got, what, three levels because we need an area for the lights, an airspace, and then the grow area. And Actually, I'm thinking we'll drop this down one more level and make the next level the floor. So, let's see. Actually, about as far as it's going to go, huh? So zip back this way. Come underneath it. Come on. Alright, so now we got to f rotate back. Go up, come on, there we go. Hold control key and that work. There we go. It's a little slow because there's a lot of blocks involved here. I think that works. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see how much space we got to play with in here. Doesn't look like we can see much, but yeah. One, two, three, ceiling. Yeah, this should work. So now we just gotta enclose the rest of this. And back, whoop, got back up a little bit. There we go. seal this in. One thing I was thinking though is just build it like a, an aircraft carrier then do the modifications to it to make it look like a helicarrier. Seems to make sense to me. triangles. There 
remove that block and that. Replicate that over here. triangles in. And then we gotta close this off back here too. Lovely. Oh there we go. That's a little more like it. Now we can block this in. This is actually going to be one of the largest builds I think I've ever made in this game. It really isn't saying much considering how... Um, I don't really build big, usually. Ah, get back in there. Go down, come on, ah! There we go, that's more like it. Alright, so let's make sure we got this looking somewhat passable here. So I kind of want extra armor of sorts in the front, in case I feel like ramming shit. <laughs> and we will be cutting out openings through the floor in here uh, to be able to access uh, the lower decks. So for now, let's get this powered up. Okay, so we got some gravity going. Okay, so enter in here, jet down here, come out, we'll have stairs going down here, and this is where we can go to the hangar. I don't know if you can see this all that well, so let me see if I can enlighten you. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, I can't count with more than one hand. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Should be lined up right. Let's make sure. 
Yes, okay. So it's lit up now. I hope you're happy with yourself. Let's see, where is the center line again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So maybe like right there. Which is perfectly in line with where I'm standing. And we'll do another one way the hell down here. And then we'll do lighting here. Let's see, corner. Oh, okay, there. Change this color light to red. See how that looks. Doesn't really have the same effect that I was going for, but it's also washed out with the other lights that are white. But, you know, it's not too terrible. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, oops. Let's change that to back to white. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Three, four, five, one, two, 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 three, and we're at the end. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, we don't need to put another light there. All right. That was boring as hell. <laughs> now I do want to put... Well, no, I ain't gonna mess around with this anymore for right now. I do need to put lights in here. Oh, ouch. Spun me... Spun my silly ass around. So we have a really nicely lit up place for the most part. If you don't like it, it's it's mood lighting. So, yeah. We're not going to worry about the interior uh, st stuff so much. I'm just wanting to get some lights on this thing. Because it's tiring to... Uh Come on, is the elevator not working? Hello, Mr. Otis. So we know where the doorway is now. There will be a sliding door in there as well at, at some point. Looks like there's some light bleed out too from that area. Probably because the lights are so intense. Ooh, that gives it a nice e little evil glow. <laughs> Actually, I probably should put the light there and there light up the deck a bit yeah that works 
All right, so we got some lighting in. We got some flooring in. Kill that for now. So, all right, we got a hangar deck. We got the forward section of the ship for a hydroponics room of sorts. Let's take a look at some of the profile of the ship. I'm kind of worried about the back end a little bit, but it's actually not looking too terribly bad. I probably could do better with a little more practice, but it is what it is. The no or the 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 front of the ship will need to get its defining shape as well. Uh, down and underneath this, uh, from this point here down, I should say is where it starts to angle to a point but up in front here uh, probably be from starting from about here and going back a little ways anyway maybe almost to midships uh, will be a glass enclosure uh, I don't know if I want to even do that I might just keep it as a solid shape or do the observation area up front here. See, my concern is if I did the glass enclosure where the power cells were, the glass is not armored worth a damn, and that would mean ease of shooting power cells, which means it would blow up the ship for the, for the most part. So let's see, get a little look at this. I may want to consider angling these bottom blocks along here. Something to consider. But so far, so good. So anyways guys, I'm going to close this episode off here. And try to figure out where I'm going to go next for the next episode so I hope you guys are enjoying this this is very interesting building like this just kind of freeform type stuff um, I hope you enjoy it I'm definitely having an interesting and fun time uh, just getting everything you know figuring all the ins and outs and how I want it to look and the shape and all that taking a little bit of work but you know if you're not putting hard work into it is it really worth it so anyways, guys, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, what would you do better? And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, like, dislike, comment either way. Share, and if you haven't already, subscribe so you can keep up to date with all my wacky goodness. Um, I believe this is a Wednesday episode. Mind you, I record all my episodes like all at once if I can't help it. And like a week in advance or so, or several days in advance. So enjoy your hump day. And uh, until next time, see you later. Twitch, twitch.